Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Villarreal against Sevilla. Well, this guy's being talked about plenty right now, Jim. Just how good is he? I think he's very good. And based on potential, he can go a considerable way towards the top. His development to this point has been almost perfect and he can make a big pond look a lot smaller. Big chance! It's in! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks... Looking to shoot! Really well taken goal! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Up for the header! Floats one over. Oh, the ball's... Rubinho! That's a half-decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Hit long and direct. He's gone for it! Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? Puyol. Rivaldo. Looks to clip it forward. Can he finish? They are rampant! And already they're looking to run away with it. Tries to stroke it through. Looks to slip it through. And we hit half-time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Sevilla have established themselves in a position of absolute supremacy. An action-packed 45 minutes and they have raced into a three-goal lead. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Towering header! Gaspar. Javi Fuego. Rubinho. He's had a go! Oh, top draw save from the keeper. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries a through ball. He'll have a dip! Gets wrestled off the ball. Away from immediate danger. Hoists it high. Turns and Jovetic! Fantastic from Jovetic! Ruthless and relentless. Utterly rampant. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Point blank header. No, he can't turn it in. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Fence has got rid of that. Now the pass. So what now? Heads it! No, it's wide. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. Jovetic with a delicate... And the finish! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. So now do you believe? You have to. Just two more steps to glory. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim?
With the group stage over, the competition becomes a whole new beast now. No second chances. It is do or die every step of the way from here to the final. There's the whistle, and here we go. And Jovetic! He's got away. Oh, great ball. Forward it goes. And it's Yanko. Great leap. Deftly done. He's having a look round. Looks to play him in. But uh, a minor communications breakdown. That'll be a throw in. Looks to clip it forward. This could shoot. Goal, Sevilla. Sevilla. Jovetic. He's got away with one there. That's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Oh, he has a swing at it. What about it? All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Sevi and the whistle goes for half-time. Would you review the first half? Sevilla are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Sevilla ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Here we go again. Robinho tries a through ball. He's tried one. Oh, it's diehard defense and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. The ball has crossed the line and it's a throw. Sevilla still have one last substitution available. Tries to get it forward quickly. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Gorgeous control there. Chip heads it! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. <laughs> Aimed long and direct. Jovetic looks like a... And Jovetic! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And they are pulling clear here. And the finish. It's a goal. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Sevilla sitting pretty. Big favourites for the quarterfinals now after winning the first leg away from home. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit. Getting
the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Sevilla against Leipzig. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Pete. He's had a shot! It's in! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me... And Jovetic! Fantastic from Jovetic! And with the match still in its infancy, they are easing away. Spreads it wide. And it... Jovetic has a go! And it's Iwobi. Plays it out to the flank. And he's got the ball glued to his... Can he finish? And that is a routine catch. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. And he's onside. Great ball and now the shot. He can get that clear. So what now? Has a hit. Same again, same outcome. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. Jovetic with the ball through. And the ball's come out. Referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Reflections on the first half. Sevilla are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Sevilla in control at half-time, 2-0. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Changes made by neither side from what we understand. And it's Iwobi. It's got through to him. Going for goal! Yep. And another time! And oh! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Referee's given a throw. He's got away. Quick ball forward. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. Has a hit. They are rampant. And surely that settles it. Jovetic. That tested the keeper. Sevilla know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. It's so... He's had a go. And that's off target. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Over to the left, could be thinking about a shot here, he's left his man, turns and goes back, looking to shoot, now can he finish, surely, and a second time, it's there, there is the final whistle, first hurdle cleared, on to the next one. So what do you take away from it all Jim? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions and it paid off. For me, they were persistent.
Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. The teams then, Sevilla against Barcelona. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. We have already started here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? It's hard to overlook Gerard Piquet. He should be given a bit more credit, I think, for his performances. Anticipates well, composed on the ball and, and pretty good in the air. That'll all be needed for what's to come here too. Yeah, I must agree. It's a big chance! Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive and expectations were not met. Oh, taken with style! Stefan Savic. Rivaldo! He's got away with one there. That's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Has a swing at it! And it's Aubameyang. And the weighted pass. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. So we reach the halfway point. Sevilla ended that first half. Has a hit! He's missed, but not by that far. Yeah, that's a decent try win. He's gone for it! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Place it into the channel. Oh, that's neat. It's on a plate. Forward it goes. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flat. He's had a go! He has done it! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Sevilla draw first blood here. 
I think the danger for them now is fatigue. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Looks like a good ball through. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. The shot's on! Aimed long and direct. They're making... Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Sevilla felt they had to win at home, and win they did. It is they who take the initiative and head on to opposition territory on the front foot. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game. So hello and welcome to you wherever you are. We are here at this most recognizable of venues in world football. It is the Camp Nou, the proud and impressive home of FC Barcelona. The teams then, Barcelona against Sevilla. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. Sevilla. We sit here with a first leg home win under their belt. And they seem to have one foot in the final. Can he put it away? Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Jordi Alba gets into the right position to intercept. Iniesta tries to get it forward quickly. He's gone down, now then. Uh, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box and it is just a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Decent progress down the left. Jordi Alba. Some good stubborn defending there. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, sweet feet. Has a hit! And in it goes! And the semi-final reaches halfway. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Sevilla ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. <laughs> and we're underway again. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Robinho. Barcelona uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Hits it! Hits one! They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Robinho with a delicate ball. Goalkeeper's ball. Barcelona have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of... Up for the header! Sticks it away! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! And the finish! Oh, he's kept it out, that's a great save. Sevilla just served up a... Up to meet it! Goal! And again, they pile on the misery. 
Sevilla totally rampant here. Passes it through. He's had a go! In it goes! And still they continue with the onslaught. Shot a goal! And oh! Oh, denied at the last. In with a header! And that may well be that. That is that. Surely the best preparation for the final. A thumping win in the semi. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And our live game is Sevilla against Napoli. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, it's great to be here. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'm going to go for the Slovakian Hamšík. Uh, easily one of the more productive, creative players on show and, and likely to be at the hub of, of all things attack. He's a scorer of important goals too and I hope he doesn't let me down now, now that I've given him the big mention. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning hep Has a pop! Pirlo. Sevilla, so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Maldini Hamšík He's having a look round and the ball's come out Now the pass Jovetic He's gone for it That is wayward Jovetic certainly caught it well enough but that was Hits one Goal Sevilla And Sevilla score first Sevilla break the deadlock it's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Steered forward. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to say from up here, I know. And the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Sevilla, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. Already up and running for the second half. Shapes the shoots! Oh, taken with style! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Sevilla grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from, um, from getting another. Towering header! They've done it! Back to within one! Interesting! This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. 
Sevilla concede a late goal again. It is a repeated weakness. Plays it out to the wing. And Big chance! Really well taken goal. And that will be the final act. Sevilla have been held here, and that means they'll have to do it away. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And our live game is Napoli against Sevilla. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well thanks Peter, there's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. And... Rivaldo! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there, really wonderful. That's a foul. A simple decision. And the finish! Goal! Sevilla! They have edged ahead overall. Sevilla take the lead. How about it? Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Looks to thread it through. Has a pop! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Up for the header! And he's there to make a great save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Gets up to head it! And he's got the ball. Going for goal! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. 
So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Rob. There is the half time whistle. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Sevilla leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1-0 at the break. Can he put it away? Goal! Two up now and they are cruising. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here. And I... well, That's surely a foul free kick. We sit high. This defence just doesn't trust itself. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looked the harder thing to do. Messi. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, Peter, and it looks like this defence will go tooth and nail to prevent him from... Um, from Shoots! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. Koulibaly. And helps available out wide. Shoot! He's had a go! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Big chance! And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Sevilla through to the semi-finals. The trophy almost touchable. You cannot help but fancy them. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball. Doing the ugly stuff, that's what gets you clean sheets and wins.
So we're down to the last four in Europe's Premier Club competition. We are breathing rarefied air. This is almost as big as it gets. There's the whistle. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? A striker with a real nuisance value for me, Mandzukic. I like my strikers hassling defenders as much as possible, and he delivers in that respect. He's happy to indulge in... in it. Shoots! Barzagli plays it forward. That's the throw. Filippo Inzaghi plays it out to the wing. Big chance! Up to meet it! Goal! Sevilla! And Sevilla score first! Sevilla draw first blood here. Oh, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Face has a hit. It's in. And already they're looking to run away with it. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Has a hit! And more and more and more! All too easy! He's had a goal! And that'll be the final action of the first half. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half Peter do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline Sevilla are cruising it at half time 3-0 ahead Here we go again. Now it's Iguain. Rubinho. Filippo Inzaghi. Timely intervention. In with a header! Douglas Costa. That'll be a throw. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Played out to the right. Going through. Can he finish? It's a goal! And they are pulling still further away. Sevilla totally rampant here. Played back in. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably caution. How about it? Sticks it away! A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries a through ball. Pjanic. Over to the left. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. Sevilla win at home. 90 minutes still to play on the road but they have a lead to cling to. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Sevilla were very impressive here, Peter.
So it comes down to this, just two teams. Which one? Which one? And here we have Sevilla against Real Madrid. And we're on the way. Look, we can only hope for a... Jovetic! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. It was such a clever idea to lift it into it. The shot's on! Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Yeah, early stages, I know, Peter, but there's a show of forward thrust here. They're oozing belief. Rubinho looks to slip it through. Jovic has a pop! Goal! Sevilla! Could that be the start of something big? He's gone for it! It's in! And they are disappearing out of sight! Sevilla take looking to shoot! Shearer. And it's Mkhitaryan. Plays it into the channel. Gets into some space. He's had a shot! And more, and more, and more! Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. So we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Sevilla have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half-time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. Sevilla, three goals to the good after a really... Robinho! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Real chance! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Yeah, he was off. Ever so slightly, but he was off. Now he's wondering who wants it. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Tony Kroos. Sevilla are oh, almost home and dry now. And the finish! It's there! It could be a lifeline! Two! He'll have a dip! Oh, great save! Real class! And the referee brings it to a close.
So what are we to expect in this final? Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. And that's sprayed out wide. Up for the header! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, he was so quick to respond to that, he almost made it count. Great opportunism. Sevilla certainly won't want to look back and... and a spectacular effort! Saved only by poor finishing. Lovely control. He made it stick with an excellent touch. Nkudu gets it back. Passes it through. Played back in. Mkhitaryan. And it's Jovetic. Shearer. Modric with the ball through. Drilled in low. Aimed low and direct. Now the pass. Lovely bit of... The shot's on! Goal! Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Half-time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Sevilla have the lead and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time Sevilla head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead and we're already back on the way here Sevilla going well he shakes the shoots Real Madrid uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. In with a header! And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Forward it goes. And now the finish! Nacho did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Now it's Jovetic, looking to shoot. That is wayward. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. So what now? Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Jovetic! And in it goes. Two ahead, late in the day. Game over, surely. Two up and very little touch. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, he was the one player you had to keep away from the area. Not the best way to do it, though. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. Keeper has beaten it away. The referee has seen enough.
The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. We have already started here. So, Jim, who would you... Up oh, to meet it! Big moment! Massive goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Sevilla, go ahead. One goal to the good. Rivaldo. And it's Aguero. Huzzah! Forward it goes. Sevilla scoring in the first 10 minutes to make it 1-0. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Jovetic, he goes long. Good clearance and very necessary. Pirlo, he's come loose. And it's Azar. Alaba. Ball's over the line and it is a corner. Strong punch. Rubinho. Sevilla leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. Mohamed Salah. Now the pass. Great leap! Asa! He is... And the whistle goes for half time. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. They come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. One, one. And that's the second half started. Goes wide. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition. And I think, can he put it away? I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. Played out to the wing. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. He's gone for it. Goal, Sevilla. And they're back in front. Sevilla go into the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, big chance. Sevilla are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, sweet feet from him there. Sevilla certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. Now it's Aguero. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And shoots! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. The final whistle. Sevilla claim victory here, and on balance, they were worth it.
Well, games like this feel like a throwback to the days of the one-club career. Not so much a match, more a celebration of a man who has given so much to this game. For him and his footballing journey, the final whistle here is indeed, sadly, absolutely final. Shot a goal! He scored! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. Sevilla take the early advantage. Reyes just brushed off the ball there. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Shoots! That's a throw. Gets wrestled off the ball. Looks to clip it forward. Gets into some space. Up to meet it! No mistake! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Sevilla take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, oh, shooting chance. Yes, it's in! And that'll be the last act of the first half. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Jovetic hits it! Oh, extraordinary! Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. And it's Gaia. Where to from here? Jovetic. Well positioned to make that interception. Pereira. Rubinho. And the weighted pass has a swing at it. More and more and more and more. More. They are running riot. Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Jovetic. The shot's on. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's a good spot and a good call. That'll be a throw-in. And it's Pablo Sarabia. Tries to get it forward quickly. So that's it. It is all over. Well, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. They were outclassed in every possible way.
Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. Juventus against Sevilla. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Drury, and hello to everyone. The action ha has a shot! Marvellous goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Juventus didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Looks to clip it forward. Now the pass. And it's Cheryshev. Ward Prowse. Sevilla scoring in the first 10 minutes. And the shot! They've done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. Sevilla get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0 this... Con Inzaghi! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Looks to dink one in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bozzali. And Jukic just brushed off the ball there. Floats one over. He's got away. Drogba! And the half-time whistle goes. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a another show of strength Sevilla ahead 2-0 and they are looking good The start of the second half. Right through the middle. And it's Mandzukic. Ledvjed. Messi. Rubinho. He's come loose. And he's been booked for simulation. Listen, he can play the... Hits one! And more, and more, and more. And surely that settles it. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement. And when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Three without reply. This is because... Shoots! Terrific goal, Mario Mandzukic! And they are right back within touch! So is this the start of a comeback? 
Can he deliver? I think that's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. And that is that. Sevilla have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. Your reflections then, Jim. Have some very strong runners from midfield. And it's not often you'll see a team be so affected by advancing through the middle like that. But... The warmest of welcomes to all of you around the globe. We're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. The teams then, Sevilla against Munich. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. For just joining us, we are already on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Arjen Robin, even though as a defender you know what's coming, it's still very hard to stifle this fella's threat. A live wire who's always angling to get it on his left foot, and, and what a left foot we're talking about. Yeah, hard to see past him. He'll be looking to put on a show, I'm certain of that. He's had a shot! Goal! 
goal, Sevilla! And Sevilla score first. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Sevilla scoring early again in keeping... Hits one! And that would have been some goal. Kimmy really has just learned the lesson there. Your focus cannot lapse, even slightly. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Hetemai. Out to the flank. He's got a... He's had a shot! It's in! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Robinho! That really should have hit the net. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Sevilla sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. We're underway again. Changes made by neither side from what we understand. Can he finish? More and more and more and more. They are running riot. And they are pulling clear here. Sevilla take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Goes for it! And he's done very well to deal with it. Munich are showing good... And Jovetic! That is wayward. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back-page headlines there. Janko. Jovetic. Tips one through. Oh, full bl Up for the header. Fantastic from Jovetic. Ruthless and relentless. Utterly rampant. Sevilla totally rampant here. Can he score? Oh, taken with style. Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Looking to shoot. And that's been one straight back. And the counter is on. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Deftly done. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Sevilla enjoy their perfect day for their victims.
Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this state. He'll have a dip! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Real Madrid have really got the wind in their sails, and I'm not sure whether this team has an anchor. Coaxed out to the wing. And has it out wide now. Could be... He's tried one! Goal! Sevilla! That could turn out to be a big, big goal. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Jovetic goes looking, hit long and direct. Certain amount of room for debate here, but a goal kick's been given. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. How about it? It's in. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Sevilla grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Can he finish? Oh! And that'll be the last act of the first half. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change over the second half. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Sevilla have established themselves in the... He's had a shot! They've done it! They are running riot here! Sevilla totally rampant here. That's a brilliant interception. Cordoba. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step... Tries one! Oh, terrific save. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here... That... Can he score? That is gorgeous from Jonas! And again, they pile on the misery. Sevilla tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's, it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's, it's pretty late. Filippo Inzaghi. Shira! Oh, impressive strike. Real Madrid making consecutive changes here. I think this is going to add an entirely different dimension to their attack now. They've got the physical presence, they've got a real aerial threat, and uh, it hits one! Not out the best in the keeper. So, the manager making the luck. In with a header! So that's it, it is all over. Sevilla came, saw and conquered, and are big favourites now to advance. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Sevilla will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset.